my crochet friends welcome back to my channel and you have if you haven't been here before my name is Linda I live in Spain but I am Norwegian and I work as a teacher at the Norwegian school here in Spain if you are not new here you have probably seen this uh, poncho before poncho and the headband before because this I've made in another video but if you haven't seen it you can go back to you can go to this link and you can see me making that a uh, base making and how it turned out but this video is about making a new one a blue one so please join me and if you like what you see subscribe subscribe down below and press the like button and please leave a comment I love reading your comments and uh, I love answering them as well so uh, that being said welcome here and enjoy I got a package today. I uh, ordered some uh, Nepal yarn because a friend of mine, she ordered, well, she didn't order, but she asked me, oh, well, she told me, oh, I want a blue one of this poncho. She saw the poncho and then she said, oh, I want the blue, a blue one of that. And then she asked me how much it is. And I told her with a, con with a headband and the gloves, it will be 120 euros. I haven't heard back from her, but if, if, either way, either way, I thought that I would order the yarn and try and start crocheting one in blue, if she wants it or not. So that's why I have uh, here my uh, blue yarn, a little a bit bl a bright, uh, a light blue, and then the dark blue. It's not the darkest because I didn't have it. Oh, it seems like I have got kind of like a purple. No, it's blue. It's blue. And uh, more here. Yeah, so three different shades of blue. And I have one already. Yeah, this is purple, yes. Well, uh, so I am about to... Well, I have started. I have done like three rounds here, but then I, I have to change color and I didn't have the new color so now I can continue that so that's great well I um, have here the start of my poncho the dark blue or the blue one uh, I have started with two colors I had this dark blue and then I ordered this one and I also I had the white one and I ordered this blue as well but I'm not digging the other blue it's too bright or I don't think it fits correctly together with the others so I think these three colors is what I'm going for but maybe I will find a complementary color that's not in the blues to go with them so that there will be four colors but if I don't find something that fits properly it will be these three colors only so it's just for me to Continue working on it. This is up here and I'm going to make a ribbing in the end like I did on my other poncho. I really love this dark color. It's beautiful and together with this blue and the white I think it's great. So this will be the poncho. Let's see if my friend wants it or um, if it will be available for somebody else when it's finished. And I also have, well, I have some acrylic yarn that can be good for the tassels that were um, the same as the brown that I made tassel for the other, other one, the other poncho. But I think this, it's, well, that color is a bit more like this than these but maybe not well it's more fresh than these but not as fresh fresh as this one so I think it will work I hope so I have all this yarn I have made one he headband like this, 
but I'm not sure if I like these colors this way. I, I'm going to try to put dark blue here and white and light blue here. White blue. <laughs> uh, so I've started a new one and this is also with a Piner hook. This is the number five, I think. Yeah, five that I used for the, this one. And now I'm using number four for this one. It looks much nicer, much tight, tighter. So, and this is how far I've got on my poncho. This is it. I'm using the brown one as a reference point, counting how many I have. So I've got 36 down there. And I think I've come, gotten until 30 or 29 or something here. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, I got 34 already. So to be the same size as this, I only need two more rounds, but I'm going to make it a bit bigger because this is a bit short. So I want to make it a little larger, a bit larger, <laughs> a little larger, a bit larger. But now I'm going to continue with my headband. It's better to crochet this out here in the sun because then I can see the stitches. When the, um, when the yarn is so dark, it's difficult to find the stitches. It's difficult to see them. So therefore, I prefer crocheting out here on the terrace when I crochet dark things. Since it's still not raining, oh, it's so bad. And now I even have a, one more reason for wanting the rain to come. And I would like for at least three weeks, <laughs> even though I don't want it, I want it because we got a mail, an email from the community that we cannot use the pool. We cannot use the pool now that there is such a lack of water. So how will that be for my um, visitors this summer if they can't use the pool? They will have to go to the beach. Of course, that's okay, but the pool is nearer, closer. The pool is just a hundred meters away from the house, while uh, the ocean is three kilometers. It's not that long, and it's not far, it's two miles. Uh, but it's easier, of course, with a pool. But, uh, but of course, when um, that's how the situation is here in Spain now, that there is such a lack of water, then we just have to adapt. And it's a crisis, actually. It's really a crisis. So, um, yeah, what can we do? But I hope I can rent out anyhow, that they don't say, no, we won't come. Because yesterday I went to Ikea, no, uh, the day before yesterday, on Friday, today it's Sunday, I went to Ikea and bought a whole lot of linen for the beds, beddings, with pillow covers, yeah, all that I need, um, and and also um, towels, big towel and s small towels, and I got for nine person, my nine people, I bought towels for nine nine people, but times two because when the visitors are going new ones come and then you have to wash them in the in between so you need double Whew. it's crazy so i spent like uh, 700 euros yesterday <laughs> uh, on all of that but of course it's an investment when I uh, rent out, <clears throat> I will, in the first rent out, in the first week, I will have um, gotten back. I will have got back that inversion. So it's not too bad. That, from that point, it's not too bad. But of course, where am I to store all of this? I'm now just trying to get all my things out. No, not out, but inside the storage room. 
and now I even have uh, <laughs> a lot of new things like where am I to put all of it especially when well of course half of it will be on the beds uh, when we take pictures and videos of my of my apartment well, for those who don't understand anything now I'm going to rent out my house this summer uh, from the late June to until the early August like six weeks I'm not sure if I will rent it out every week well I, if I get if, if there are people renting that's good but I'll be happy if I can rent out four of the six weeks but everybody's saying it's really popular so it won't be difficult to rent it out and it is since I, ha I have nine beds well I have beds for nine people well I have beds for seven people and then I have a, um, a sofa bed for two people and then on top of that I actually have two more beds like um, Ikea traveling beds no, not traveling beds but these uh, beds that you can roll around so um, they're not as comfortable of course but it, if there is a need that could enter 11 people now there's just one more week and then there is Easter holiday oh, I'm happy I'm not going anywhere but I'm, I'll, go, I'll be crocheting of course and I'll be, I'll be taking pictures of my apartment, of my terrace, of everything for the rent out and then I have to put it on the internet I guess I'll put it first on Facebook just to show it to my friends and people that I know maybe some that I know will, will uh, rent it and then I don't have to go through Airbnb but if not then Airbnb it will be <laughs> Airbnb it will be uh, because it's a uh, also a uh, secure way of renting out of course but if I know the people that's okay and I'm not really worried about my things being broken and everything uh, I'm not that attached to my things and of course like my Mac and stuff I won't be leaving I have a piano for example that they can play on I have a guitar with just five str strings <laughs> because I haven't bothered to drop by the new string I used to too seldom to be bothered to go to the music store to buy the new string I'm lazy terrible well so you wonder maybe then oh are you musical are you a musician no I'm not a musician I love to sing I don't sing much now but in class of course I sing and uh, well I love to sing I have been a uh, guiding it what do you say leading a choir not a uh, not a Def, um, not, it's not a choir that is a choir all the, all the time, just projects, choir projects, like three to four times maybe. Um, I play the piano, but I, I know how to play with uh, I know how, uh, the, the notes. Do you call them notes in Spanish? No, in English. Do you call them notes in English when you? Uh, uh, C D E F G A uh, H uh, H. Uh, do you know? Well, I know that on paper. Of course, I know how to read it, but I can't read it rapidly. So I can't just play while I watch those. Um, when I play the piano, I normally use um, the chords, and I have to practice. If it's difficult, if the chords are difficult, I really have to practice to master it. Uh, the guitar, yeah, so-so as well. I can, when I have the chords, I can play, but I don't know all the chords. But I know the basics. So I love, I love the, having um, the subject music with my class, but this year I don't have them because we have another 
teacher that has all the all the classes in music so I couldn't have them I hope next year though I I don't sing as much when I don't have my own class in music so I, I miss that actually and I don't find the guitar as often as I could if I um, well I have the guitar on my wall in the classroom but I don't use it as much since I don't have the music of course sometimes we um, sing a song or two and in mathematics we have the songs for the multiplication table um, every the, the two three four five six etc that we learn the song while we learn the table the timetable and they're quite good at it I've got the third grade and they are really nice pupils really really nice pupils and good students apart from that what what do I like to do I like to well I should say I like to read I have my moments I have my yeah my moments my periods I have my periods with reading now that I'm crocheting of course I'm not reading <laughs> I haven't got the time to read physically holding a book and I'm not good uh, I'm not a, too good uh, to be crocheting without watching as you can see now I'm not watching so much I'm not seeing you so much uh, I'm not watching you so, that much because I have to watch the stitches so I cannot have like um, a book here and I can go back and forth, no. So I need to use um, sound books. Is that what it's called? Sound books? Like from on Storytel or whatever. So, but uh, we can say that I like to read. When I first read, I really like it. And then I like to skate. Well, I did like to skate. I did one year of uh, artistic skating, <laughs> but I was no good. Of course, one year I was 14, I was 15 until 16. I came, uh, I didn't lose though in the competition. I entered one competition with all of my teammates and uh, I came second to last. So I beat a girl that has, had been skating for seven years. So I'm, I'm quite proud of that. Um, and then I have been playing handball. For those of you that are from USA, you d I guess you probably don't know what handball is. Because I think you have something called handball and that is not what I'm talking about. Handball is on a field that is... 40 to 40 by 20 meters long and there are two goals uh, and you have to score with your hands throwing the ball it's kind of like a football field but much smaller and you cannot enter where the goalkeeper is the goalkeeper's area is six meters in a half circle so you cannot go inside there with a the ball you can jump though and land inside and but you have to have to let go of the ball before you land so um, that is a sport that is quite popular in Norway and we have a really really good national team especially the girls they win everything the boys have always also been re really good lately the last seven eight years I think but they haven't won anything yet they have come in second and third once uh, but last time they came in ninth, so that was a big, not disaster, but a big disappointment. We'll see, they're going to the Olympics now, they qualified this weekend, well, yesterday. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We will try again. I love that sport. I was also a referee in handball, and I really, really loved that. I so loved that, and that was my extra job. Apart from being a teacher in Norway, I was working as a handball referee, gaining um, gaining good. It was a good extra income. Some teachers in Norway worked on the uh, supermarket, and I was a teacher, no, and I was a referee. Because the, the 
the life in Norway is quite it's quite um, not cheap. It's quite it's quite expensive. The life in Norway is quite expensive. So um, you uh, sometimes you need an extra job. If you're a teacher, you don't get that much paid as a teacher. So I know a lot of people who have extra jobs, especially living in Oslo. The capital is terrible. I didn't live there. Thank goodness. Uh -oh. Well, let's see how far have we got now. I need a bit more. Let me see here. Yeah. It was so warm I had to change. I was wearing black pants. <laughs> now I have finished. Uh, crocheting there so I'm just going to attach it and make this border I want to do it on both sides so I will uh, well, yeah, I have to cut this turns out wow oh I love this <laughs> hmm how does this look it feels great though yeah I'm sitting here in 25 degrees Celsius with a warm headband <laughs> that again you can see anything so let me then show you now this is the first headband that I made how does it go together with the with the poncho how does this look together I hope I'm in the frame right now and then for the last one this look which one is the best what which one is nicest hmm. yeah let me let me know what you think please uh, comment down below what you think is the best headband for the for the two and later I will I will see what I think because I can't see myself I have to see myself in the mirror to to know well let me just continue on the poncho Yesterday I started and uh, almost finished the tassels, but I have run out of yarn, so I have here this part left. So I have to buy a new skein. I hope I remember this, the store that I went to. I think it is a new store that I've just been there once, and I hope they have the same yarn. <laughs> I think I'm sure they have. I have it and now I'm working on the 
neckline on the ribbing and in order to see what I'm doing it's best that I sit outside I was sitting inside but it's so difficult to see the stitches so it's so big and really difficult to manage and it gets tangled up in the tassels there we go ay, ay, ay. let's see it's monday so yesterday was sunday i thought i was well i didn't think i was going to finish yesterday but i think that i came a long way when i did most of the tassels and i knew from what i had left of the skein that ooh, ooh i think i will use yarn chicken <laughs> and i did but I didn't go to the store today to buy that yarn because I wasn't sure and uh, it's no big deal I don't need it today so I can just wait for another to another day and go there to buy the yarn to buy the yarn Also, I'm working on something for the bedding when I'm going to rent out the house. I am going to put on a, uh, a runner. <laughs> I don't know if you call it that, but in Norwegian it's runner or uh, literally translated. So it's going to be by the, the feet in the, on the sheets. Um, I'm going to show that in the next video. So I have made already eight of one color and then I need, well I make one of the other color and I need, I need eight for, uh, for one of them and then I uh, need another eight for another bed because they're for the double beds. Oh, I guess I need nine for the other, for the other bed because that bed is wider. My bed is 135. 135 is considered a double bed, but it's not really wide, so 8 is enough. 8 granny squares is enough. But for the other one, then 9, or maybe even 10. Since that's 150. We'll see. Today it's been really, really warm. I went to work today in a only a t-shirt at 8 well 8 7 45 and it was like it was 15 degrees when I when I left my house and when I came to work it was 19 already but that's because that place is warmer than this place even though it's just 10 minutes from here they are quite like two in between two and four degrees difference so it's been a lovely day. It was really warm in the classroom though, so I had to put on the air conditioner. Yeah. Now it is actually getting really dark, so I have just two rounds left and then I'll be finished with the ribbing. You can see here, it's almost done. I just had to go down and then connect, them, connect it and then it's done. So I'm going to do that and I hope I can do it before the light goes down. When the light goes down, before the light is turned off. It is turned off quite quickly here in Spain, not like in Norway where it, where it takes a lot of time. Well, actually on camera it didn't seem so dark but it is quite on the border of me knowing what my still of seeing my stitches so it is darker than it seems on camera final stitch Here we go. 
go. It is done except for the tassels that are that are missing. Wow, it's really lovely. I love it. I look myself in the mirror. Oh, I am digging this. Wow. I want to keep them for myself, both of them, but I can't. I'm going to sell them. Well, if anybody wants to buy them then. <laughs> Today it's Tuesday and I found the new skein uh, that I needed for the tassels. So now I've completed, finished the poncho. So here it is. What do you think? Isn't this gorgeous? I really, really like it. It's warm, it goes below the, the elbow, so it's long and it keeps me warm. It's warm here, but this re and this I can even put it, pull it up like this, so I will be really, really warm if it's cold outside. Or I can have it like this, or I can double it like this. But I, I prefer it like this. I like this to cover my cheeks and uh, be warm here. Um, this is how it looks like in the back. The only thing I have to do is trim the, the tassels and weave in the ends and then I'm completely done. So, and I, of course I have two headbands, I have this as well. I've show show, shown you that before so it's no big deal. So I guess I'm going to stop this video here. It's quite long actually and um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you like what I'm making, please subscribe and uh, comment a bit down below if you, if you want and press like, you know the drill. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye!